Welcome back to the show. It is a must read when every issue comes out. And in particular, people look so forward to the holiday issue of Ottawa at Home magazine each and every year. And Mary Taggart, editor in chief, joining me on the show. How are you, Mary? Great to see you. And thanks for dancing for the, during the theme there. I, I appreciate that. It looks good. That's <laughs> a lot of pressure. <laughs> I'm a good dancer, so I slid right into that. <laughs> you guys at home didn't get to see it, but it, it was it was an epic dance. It looked amazing. Uh, Mary, let's talk about this particular holiday issue because it's a little different from previous issues. Tell us how. Yeah, so in the past, for many, many years, we've been doing the gift guide as our holiday issue, and that's great. It always makes sense for the season, but this year, I wanted to do something different, really, to honor what was happening in everybody's home, and it's our a celebrating gather issue. So we're really looking at um, celebrating and gathering however that feels safe. But that's the general theme of the issue. Nice. So what are people doing? Because people are staying at home more and more. People are working from home. People aren't traveling. They're enjoying their homes more. What are people doing differently at home? So something that that I'm finding that people are doing is they're digging out, uh, you know, that story that talks about where you put your fine china away and you save it for a really special occasion. Well, the special occasion is now, given we haven't really been able to drag that stuff out and entertain. So people are are doing that. And we have a feature in, in the holiday issue where a woman... Uh, decorated Riverwood uh, Gardens decorated her entire home for the homes for the holiday tour just based on her collected china. Wow. That's I have, I, as a matter of fact, I have my there granny's. You go. Yeah, look at that. That looks spectacular. And we should use yeah. it more. I, I agree with you. And something else, you know, people are spending more money at home because they're not traveling. And I think people are, you know, really respecting the fact that they have this home and that they want to spend more time. And now that they've been forced to do it, what are they spending money on? I know bathroom is probably a big one. Well, for are you talking for decor as opposed to because florals are a big thing that people are spending money on for the holiday season, really, really? going okay. fresh and, and getting back into the florists and having florists come into the house. But yes, of course, bathrooms, that's another thing where, you know, I've always maintained you need to put a little decor in your bathroom area. And well, so this house is a case in point. Mill Street Florist did that. Wow. And you can see that's seasonal. That is not for the holidays. That is seasonal. It's It's got a bit of festive with the pine cones, but... Um, and this one as well. There's a touch of red in in the uh, floral display, but that could be year round. And then the other thing we've got is the eucalyptus in the shower, where we did a feature. Melissa Shabinsky did a feature on uh, making sense of bathroom scents and how we can freshen our space naturally. And the eucalyptus hanging in the shower. That's not just for show, Derek. Really? Okay. I, I'm intrigued. Really? I'm intrigued. I do have my yeah. copy at home, so I know exactly what you're talking about, but people should pick up a copy so they can find out more. Um, want to talk... Well, sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, your show is really well-timed because uh, t starting tomorrow, we're going to have a whole new shipment go into Farm Boy locations. So oh, terrific. people who haven't got their they can get it starting probably Wednesday. And and for people that are accustomed to those gift ideas, you know, during the for the holiday issue, you do have gift ideas as well. I don't disappoint. We definitely yeah. I, I you know, I always complain about doing the gift guides. But look at here. How beautiful does that look? And we've got a lot of local love on there with those rolling pins, I think are beautiful from Pam Wasson and um, the Wax and Wayne Coffee is a local company. We've got the modern shop. Uh, we've got Vincent there with these toques that are made down east, nice. which those aren't those beautiful mm -hmm. Vincent on Preston Street. Yeah. And, and what Canadian girl doesn't want a toque? And Cabin Fever, the uh, candle company, that's local as well. Uh, candles definitely are something that uh, liven up a space. Yeah, and they're always in. This is beautiful. This is our luxury item for E.R. Fisher. I could see you prancing around in oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. This I could, I, I could, I could see that too. But back and forth to the hot yeah. tub, that would be perfect. And of course, you do cool. features yes. on you do features on local personalities as well. Speaking <laughs> of the hot tub, that was the last time we Remember? visited you. But we yeah. got a little bit professional to welcome you back into Ottawa, Derek. Thank you for doing that. That was. Uh, 
That was a highlight for us to see you back. And I think people will find your story really intriguing because it's all about, you know, you're such a vibrant, happy, engaging person and you love Ottawa and you love being here. Yeah, I do, and I, I am so happy to be back. Like, literally walking back into the station, it's, you know, everybody's still here, like all the familiar faces, and then, of course, do, coming back to be able to do the show again, I'm so grateful because I get to connect with people like yourself and Julie and Chris and Lukia on the show. I mean, it just goes on and on. Yeah. So, Mary, thank you so much well, for that feature. Really, really appreciate it. It comes through in the article, Derek. It, it, uh, your your um, enthusiasm for the city is contagious and infectious and we all really appreciate it. So right. being able to feature you like that was a pleasure. Thank you so much, Mary. We'll be back with more after this.